Dominic Ifarov, congratulations on your silver medal. Uh, how do you feel to get the silver? I, I'm happy and sad at the same time because it's not every day that uh, we can fight in a final for the world title. And um, but I'm still happy that I, I could uh, finally test myself against Rinner and some other legends like uh, Mikhailin because I was uh, watching him when I was a kid. So it was an honor for me to fight today against him. Uh, you are normally an under 100 kilograms fighter and you were fighting a lot of normal plus 100 kilograms fighters. Uh, tell us what that's like. It's different. It's uh, much different. They are very heavy and uh, very powerful. So I had to move all the time and uh, try to provocate them. And uh, I think I did well. Just in the final, uh, Teddy is, uh, is so strong. That it's, it was almost impossible to, to put just my grip. And uh, he shows again today that uh, he's, the, he's the best of the world. Uh, you say you watched Mikhailin as you were growing up. And uh, so, yeah, and I, you cheered. You had a really big cheer when you, when you won against him. Tell us what it was like to beat Mikhailin. Uh, but it's, it's very strange to fight against him because, like I said, with my father and my mom, we were watching him because I was like a fan of him when I was a kid. And uh, just when I went on the mat, Mikhailin, and uh, I hope I will, I will try to, to, of course, win and do my best against him. Uh, but I think the, the difference of the age uh, did the, the difference today, and it was good for me. And uh, what, what are your plans for the future now? Uh, I have two weeks in, uh, in Belgium. We have the national competition uh, with the teams. And then I go to Japan for three weeks uh, for the Grand Slam in Tokyo. And then uh, I stay there for the training camps. Thank you very much. Thank you.